Hey guys, so here's what we're doing. We're actually cleaning the Airstream today. You can see how excited Abby is about that. You want to give a thumbs up? I'm excited. Abby's excited. Okay. I'm All right. Excited. Hey, I can get behind this. I'm excited to get it done and to have a pretty Airstream again. Absolutely. Don't do what we do and let it go too long. No, you don't want to do that. That's a bad idea. Mm -mm. That's a bad idea. I told you it was bad. We may or may not have neglected this a little bit. I, I told you it was bad. Wow. Are you going to get up there? Um, only when we're ready. I mean, are we ready to? Are we ready to take this thing off? Uh, we're ready as ready could be. So this is the before. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's not too bad." Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Wait until we're done with it. Yeah. All right. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and... Uh, not horrible inside. It actually does a pretty good job at keeping it... Uh, Say something profound. The air conditioning lid is clean. The air conditioning lid is clean? That's profound. It is very profound, I think. That's the most profound thing. You'll hear all week, maybe all year. Yeah. The writing. Look at right it. On it. Look at it. So after five hours, this is what we've gotten done. Let's move on. Guess who's getting a foot rub? <laughs> All right, I just want you to see exactly how dirty this Airstream is. Look at this, look at this. I mean, I can't even get that off. Look at that. This is what happens when you leave your Airstream sitting outside for like two years. Look at that guardrail. The rub rail. Alright. We're doing it and uh, this is the girl with the hose. Right here. Yep. Hi. Hi. Let's girl do with this. the hose. Alright, go for it. And you know how I do with that. Okay, so here's the tour after, and uh, it's not complete yet, but it looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did when we started, don't you think, Abby? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the roof was the worst. Yeah. Actually, looks got some shine on it now. We're gonna buy a little buffer. I buff the algae off because the algae is stuck. Yeah. And then we walbernize it. And then, uh, honestly, this was the hardest part, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, what we did this afternoon. So you can see, looks a whole lot better. Those eyebrow windows look better, but still, it needs, needs some work. But uh, that's all we can do today. So, I think it's time for a slushy. Hey guys, here we are, Santee, South Carolina at Santee State Park up on Lake Marion. And uh, it's a gorgeous day. It's burning up. It's about 90 degrees and it's going to be even hotter, I think. Uh, I've got all of my family coming and we're going to be going on a kayaking trip tomorrow. So, that's why I'm bringing you guys along. Uh, so, you can kind of go with us on the excursion. We're going out to Church Island, which is a little island in the middle of Lake Marion, which I'll explain a little bit more about later and why we're going out there. But right now, I need to start a fire.
smaller just because I'm too lazy to care. I do care, but I think some people want a bigger piece of it's trying to accommodate everybody with their low country boil preferences, right? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, this kielbasa can be eaten. Now, do we want to do the fourth? I mean, we could. The what? Uh, yeah, might as well, I guess. Might as well. You know, I mean, I don't know what else we're going to do with it. We need Ah, uh, yeah. Did you turn it back some? I did. I thought it was going to be back a little bit more. Back a little bit more. It just needs to be a summer. Potatoes. 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 Onions and sausage going in. See how much water that is? Yeah. We're going to have to um, a little bit more. If you could take the butter and the Old Bay and the cocktail sauce down there. Okay. I'll bring it out. Hey guys, good morning. We are about to leave to go to Church Island. So just wanted to tell you a little bit about what's going on with Church Island. So uh, I'm here with my cousins and they are all um, getting ready about to leave just as we are. And um, anyway, they discovered a few years ago that uh, a lot of their relatives, not on my side of the family, on their side of the family, are actually buried on this island called Church Island uh, in the middle of Lake Marion. So if you know anything about Lake Marion, Lake Marion was not originally a lake it was originally land that the government bought up i think it was in the 1920s to turn it into a hydroelectric uh, power plant so by doing that they flooded the land and obviously a lot of churches and residences kind of ended up under water which is where they are today so uh anyway these graves ended up in the middle of lake marion so we're going to go on a kayaking trip to kind of paddle out there and Bowen, what are you doing? That's my dog. <laughs> He's just like nosing through things in the airstream. So anyway, we're going out there in the kayak this morning and uh, it should be a really beautiful trip and we're taking you along for the ride. Here on Church Island, we're about to see the cemetery and the church, and we um, just kayak, saw lots of birds, osprey, and hinga, um, and we will be, um, else we saw gator, which is nothing for us, but, so we're going to go to the cemetery. We'll do it. And, and somebody grab this list right here. You got it. You got good. good. I can tell you a farm girl. <laughs> She's more than just a farm girl. There's there are little trails like this through the tall grass. Just look down and see where you're putting your feet. Again, we apologize for the tall grass. It's they haven't been maintaining the place for a while since COVID. They bring them over. They actually have uh, church members come over on pontoon boats and they bring weed eaters and lawnmowers and everything and they clean the whole place up. So, this was known as the Church of the Epiphany. First built in 1804, consecrated in 1814. Let me read what this says up here because it's more detailed. This was the front steps. There was a column there and a column there. The church extended. You can actually see what's left of the foundation out to that corner. Same thing on this side. You can see where the grass is grow out to that corner. Brick foundation. And if you walk out there, you can see the other end of the church. They moved the entire church over to Utah Bell. <laughs> I've got like about a gallon of water in my shoes. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Not uncomfortable. A couple really nice hickory trees we're walking under. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still even have the little outhouse here. Yeah. It's a two-seater. So, okay, so Don and Elizabeth, this is um, 
Papa takes his father, which is his father. Oh. And this is his little... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is fairly common. Where we have children. Back so, in. Tyler, the younger brother of our grandfather, he's the one that went to Clemson. Oh. Like here, Richard Green Jr. Is he the one who went to Clemson? Mm -hmm. And he was a doctor. Did you realize that he was buried here when you figured that out the other day? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I was Googling him more. Oh, Because okay, I gotcha. knew we would visit. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's see, John, there's the Mary Skipper. Skipper. John is John Skipper. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. There it is. Your name. There it is. Yep. Forever on an island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, so this is Papa Toots' brother, is that what you said? This is Papa Toots' father. Father. And oh, this is his brother. This would be our and great grandfather and great uncle. Siblings that, live, that only live to be children. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was fairly common in the 18, 17 and 1800. Yeah. Uh, they had large families. I come from a, a, a Georgia My sharecropper family, and there were 14 My kids and two, two years old. mothers and one father in that family. Do you remember Papa Toots? 2,000 acre farm, and you. they raised farm they people. They're farm hands. Like farm hands. <laughs> yeah. But so were these, were these grandparents people or great died grandparents? of accidents. Great grandparents. Great grandparents. Great grandfather. One of the reasons why the lake was created was okay. to help control and those, yellow fever their children? malaria. Whose children? Rampant. I miss it. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Their great grandfather and great grandfather. That's one of the why they built this. Yeah. On top. This is Who's kids were these? Sorry. Do what? Whose kids were these? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so this is Richard Green and Mary Skipper Causey. So this is Papa Toots' mom and dad. Okay. So Papa Toots was, had three brothers and... Ooh, that is beautiful, let me tell you. This looks like someplace <laughs> I'd like to use the restroom. There's probably been some snakes, been some spiders. In fact, there is some spiders right there. They're big, can't when they want to see them. Alright, tell us what this is. A cicada. I'm pretty sure it's an adult one. Because the other ones have red eyes. Yeah, he's small. He's a very, very small one, so that's actually a baby. He's a baby. The big cicadas are like this big. They're this big. That's a good picture from the side. Put him on there. Let's see what he does. Tickling her nose. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see if he stays. You know, my my mother and great aunt, or my mother and aunts and uncles were born at home. Uh -huh. I got over. I said, you know that old dead set that you got from oh, he's your gone. grandmother. All right. Yep. I'm going to uh, put this in the center for him. Right here. Why I ask what brand of camera that is? This is a, a DJI Osmo Pocket. I've never seen one that small. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty cool. Is it waterproof? Uh, no. <laughs> That's why I'm just going to be careful. Just say, be very careful. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Use your passenger. Uh, Who's going that would be Abby. 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 Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. You can continue you the conversation right over there. <laughs> Ed. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, who's in this boat? That's us. We're coming. I'm coming to you. As soon as I get them out of the way. Okay. Now you have to paddle for a minute while I'm taping. Well, I can't see behind us. Can you, uh... Okay, you're clear. You just got lake behind you. Who's in this one? Green water cannon. 
Blue powder. Blue. Like we're going right over to that beach right over there. Right over there? Yeah. Over on the left, let's go ahead and point the bow right towards those others, sort of towards the beach.